Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, لو أن لابن آدم واديا من ذهب أحب أن يكون له واديين ولم ولن يملأ فاه أو لم يملأ فاه إلا التراب ويتوب الله على من تاب متفق عليه This hadith is narrated by Al-Bukhari and Muslim that the Prophet ﷺ said if the son of Adam had a valley of gold, he would want to. If you had a valley of gold, you would only say, why don't I have two? Wallahi, this is so true. You say, you know, if I just earned another 5,000 dirhams a month, I would be happy. And when you earn it, you say, you know, if I earned another 2,000, I would be happy. Say, you know, if I just earned another 2,000 after that, I would be happy. And it doesn't stop. Because your nature, your shahawat, your desires are so burning, so strong for this wealth that you never ever have enough. Look at the billionaires in the world. Did you ever see any of them say, I have enough wealth, alhamdulillah. I finish now. I don't want any more. They say, I don't have enough. Subhanallah. This hadith shows that the truth of the words of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa Because we see this in our lives everywhere. Whatever you have, it's never enough. You tell yourself, if I get this house, I will be happy. I just want to buy myself a property. When I buy myself a property, I will be happy. And then you buy yourself a property, you say, well, it's not really big enough. When I buy myself a bigger property, I will be happy. And the guy who has 20 houses, he is not happy until he has a yacht. And then he buys a yacht and he's not happy because someone has a yacht that's bigger than his yacht. So he's not happy. Subhanallah, it is a never ending cycle unless you learn how to break it. And so in this lecture today, we must talk about how to break this cycle of a takathur of constantly competing with everyone to get more than them and being so attached to the dunya that the only thing you care about is what is in the bank and it's never enough your valley of gold is not enough you need to and your two valleys of gold is not enough the prophet ﷺ said nothing will fill his mouth except the dust of the grave nothing will make you ever stop wanting more except when your mouth becomes filled with the dust of the grave. And this is the meaning of the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal, أَلْهَاكُمُ التَّكَاثُرْ حَتَّى زُرْتُمُ الْمَقَابِرْ You have been diverted by competing with each other in gathering wealth until you visit the grave, i.e. until you die. And when you die, you realize how foolish was I that I spent my life competing with Fulan and Alam to have more money than them, and in the end, the only thing that I was left with is a mouthful of dust.